Hey guys, it's Murphy. Um, I haven't did a makeup doodly do -doodly video in a very long time, so I decided I would do the um, everyday makeup or the everyday makeup that I usually do. Um, this thing right here, this thing is my mirror that I got. Mirror or a mirror that I got for Christmas. Um, it's, um, this light that's in front of me, see, like, now my face is red, blue, yellow, I'm, I uh, have my, uh, television on my desk, and it's the only place I could put it, because I'm a hoarder, and I like to be an organized hoarder, but, that's for another topic, but anyway, um, I want to do my everyday makeup, usually I switch it up, but this is the, um, the usual one that I, like, if I'm in a hurry or, um, don't have much time to, like, do my makeup. And sometimes I do have a lot of time to do my makeup, but yet, I don't, I just do this one. It's the simplest one. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get started. Usually, I, uh, start with my eye drops, which are these, um, clear eyes for contact lenses. Because my eyes get a lot, really, really dry. Um, but my eyes are kind of moist right now so I don't need this so I throw it away so I usually just stick it in my makeup bag which my makeup case my face is red um so my makeup case is this and this part right here is the brush holder which I hold like brushes and stuff and I have a lot more makeup in this thing than usual, but it's pretty, pretty filled to the brim. Right, cool. So I'm gonna uh, get started. So usually, you know, as I said, I do my eye drops, and um, then I go with some sort of like lip base or something. In my since it's winter, um, my lips get really chapped, so I'm gonna use the. Blistex with the SPF 15 and these are the medicated ones. They usually burn when they're quite chapped because of the, uh, let's see. They're a bit chapped. Alright, okay, on to the next. I use my LA Colors Concealer. As you've seen in the, um, the video before this one, where my boyfriend Jeff just conceals my nose, which, uh, it's not where we put it. So, uh, yeah, I just, uh, conceal my dark circles around my nose and the sides of my mouth. And I take my wedge and I dab it. Sometimes I put it above my eye and what, what remains on the bottom. Do you know? The uh, sides right here on my nose get extremely dry. Sides of my mouth. And that's pretty much for face besides my blush. And I don't add it yet, but I will. And I use my little Revlon Kabuki. My favorite brush of all time. And I'm going to use this Clinique palette. Um, which the one I'll be using is the uh, 08 in Cupid, which is, um, which is this pink one right here. And I'm going to put that on my cheeks. Side. 
that's pretty much it for the cheeks. Now on to just a light set of powder because I usually don't use the foundation um, all that much unless I am going somewhere like on a date or something and need more coverage because usually I let my skin breathe as much as I can. So I'm going to be using my CoverGirl which I hit pan like a way long time ago but it's still got some in it and mine is the Translucent Fair Compact Powder, Compressed Powder. I'm going to just use the Kabuki again, and I'm going to just get it in there, which is usually like, yeah. Put some on my neck, forehead, and down my chin, nose. So that's about it for that. Um... Then where we go on to the eyes. So I have two products that I'm really, really loving at the moment. One of them, this is my all-time favorite eyeliner. Really love it. It is the New York Colors High Definition Liquid Eyeliner. And the reason why I like it so much is it's got like one of those felt tips. And I love. And I can get like a really better like bat wing kind of line. Oh, this is where my mirror comes in handy. Position my elbow on the desk, pinky about right here, and begin the first eye. The pinky just keeps my um, hand from like moving. It, like, if I used to, like, not even, like, try to balance my arm on anything, and it'd be like, what, all over my face. So, now, I keep a steady hand so I don't mess up. And usually I start at the middle of the eye, make my line over, and then go to the corner. So there's pretty much the shape. And now for the wing, I use my other hand about here, gently pull my eye over, and go up. So there's one. Now then, I'm, so there's one line, and this is usually the look I do all the time, it's just the, uh, the liner, and it's took me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of practice to, uh, find out which liner, like, which, how to do it. It's took forever, so practice makes perfect. And then I'm going to try to replicate this onto this side which it's a little bit different because I have to keep this one closed and just go with it instead of watching what I'm doing on this one. I don't know, I think more more with the right side of my brain so I tend to do better on the right side of my face. So okay, here's this. So I keep my eye closed and then I start from the corner lightly go on down the eye. So there's pretty much the So that's pretty much the line. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing for the little wing.
They kind of want to make your eyes look like sisters instead of twins. That actually helps me feel better about messing up on one and the other one looking really good. I want to make this this one a little bit thicker. The one bad like thing that I have to say about this liner is if, because I just removed like last night's makeup a few minutes ago with the with one of my makeup removers. If your eyelid is still wet, this tends to uh, leave a little residue on top of the eyelid. Which all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a uh, cotton bud, use a little spit, and clean it off my eyelid. And then dry it with the other side. I mean, this is how I do it. Now then, I usually just wear it like this. No, no bottom liner or anything. But I'm going to do bottom liner. And I have started using the Avon's Black is Black and Geo One. It's like one of these twist liners so you don't have to sharpen, which of these are a lot better for your eyes instead of the ones that are like a regular pencil and you have to sharpen because some of the uh, splintered uh, pencil shavings can irritate the eyes. And this is a lot better and it goes on really smooth. And I just put it on like I gently pull down my eyelid. I don't go all the way to the corner because I like to leave that little gap right here where my tear duct is because I don't like those black gooey um, eye boogers that you get when your eyeliner's all the way over there. I just don't like them. They're, they're gross. They gross me out. So there's one eye. And then we just do the same to the other one. One of my favorites. Uh, then I have like two different favorite mascaras that I usually use. One of them, well, they're the same brand. I can find my other one. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I'm gonna dig. Okay. So they're both the uh, Great Lashes by Maybelline, and this one is the Lots of Lashes, and it's got, this one's my newer one, and it's got these, like this really, really, really tiny um, lash brush, so you can really get in there with your, in the lashes. I really like this one. And then the other one, the one I got before that, is the big, blackest, uh, black lashes, and it's the same thing. It's just the uh, one with the uh, bigger um, lash mascara applicator. Yeah, and I'm going to use this one. I don't really do the whole, like, rub and blink thing. I just kind of, like, rub. Because I have some pretty big lashes. And when I blink, it gets all over my lid down here. So I tend to not, like, try to blink all that hard. 
see they look bigger already. my mom. <laughs> And then for lips, I usually just leave them nude and, and wear the, um, the, the Blistex. But uh, I'm going to wear like a darker lip because uh, that's in uh, style now. And this one is smushed, apparently. Uh, this one is the Thousand Kisses. And it's the Stay On Lip Liner Pencil Thousand Kisses by Rimmeld. And it used to have a name, but it's been smudged off. So I'm going to call it a berry wand. Because it's like a darker color. And I'm just going to use a lip pencil. First I'm going to line the lip. And now I'm going to fill it in. It comes on a lot smoother when you have already applied your chapstick or lip gloss or whatever. And that is pretty much it for my everyday makeup. Usually from here, you know, the eyes and the cheeks are usually my everyday. Though today I decided to add a darker lip to the look just to give it a little bit extra flare, edge, pizzazz, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!